All right, today we have a BySight flashlight. This is more of a, um, a pistol grip torch, you know, a spotlight kind of deal. And it's not bad. Uh, I was hoping for a little brighter, but it's not really all that bad. There's a couple of things that make it very cool. Um, rubberized, very small and compact. I was actually expecting something quite a bit bigger. So I was pretty pleased to see how small it was. Supposedly, it's got a significant battery inside. You're in 10 hours, probably at low, a little less on high. I also love the fact that it has a safety a lockout. So you have to actually unlock it in order to turn it on. When you have it locked, it will not turn on, which is fantastic because nothing's worse than getting to your campsite and your torch is dead because it turned on inside your bag during your drive. <laughs> that sucks. Um, the, it's uh, fully waterproof. I think it floats. I'll have to verify that. Um, has a stand for standing it up. It's not super stable that way, but it does work. Okay. Now you unlock it, slide the switch up, and now you have your high, your low, and you're off. And I appreciate that. No stupid flash, no stupid SOS, no stupid blinky blinky red lights, just high, low, off. Good. I like that. I like not having the extra crap. You see there is your LED emitter inside of there. You do have a red lens cover. This is not for securing night vision. This is just for not blasting people, like when you're directing traffic or trying to show people something. It slides over the rubber overmolding and locks in place. And there is your red. So, in the wintertime, without gloves, this is going to be pretty hard to get off. Otherwise, not too bad. I probably won't use that. Now, um, to retain the waterproofness, your ports are underneath here. So, this unscrews with an actual seal. And on the back here, you have your USB-C input. So that's right. This thing charges by USB-C, which I love. Because it means I can use any of the gazillion chargers I already have and battery packs that I already have to keep these things going. And it also has a USB out. So you can actually use this as a battery bank. So in a pinch, you could recharge your phone with this. That's pretty neat. I like that a lot. Overall, it's not a super fancy or exotic device. But it's not supposed to be. And I appreciate that they didn't try to put the kitchen sink in this thing. Having the USB output just makes sense. You've got a big giant battery in here. It's USB -C rechargeable. It just makes sense to have a USB-C output. It doesn't take up any space. You're already using the space for the USB-C input. Um, beyond that, no fancy features. Simple. High, low, off. Red lens cover if you need that. It's rubber molded, so it'll take a bit of a hit without damaging it and tearing it apart. The whole thing has a soft feel to it. So it's a, it's a coating that they put on the plastic to give it that um, soft touch feel. Sometimes that wears off after a few years. Mm, I do like it. Hopefully it holds up nicely. Um, there are screws, so I can take this apart, which I just might do. I just might try taking it apart. i will verify the size of the battery in here and whatnot. But overall, good design. It's a simple spotlight that does what it's supposed to do without any other fancy crap that just leads to being annoying to use or draining the battery or doing crap you just don't need. Now, I did find something interesting. Um, let's see if I can duplicate it. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but when I hold my ham radio at 462.562 at just the right distance and key up, let's see if I can make it do it again. Maybe it won't do it again. I wonder if it only does it while it's plugged in. When I had it plugged in to USB-C charging, um, I guess there was enough interference that I was able to make it turn on using the radio. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> you see, I'm not doing it. Off the trigger. I don't know how, but for whatever reason, the circuit board in here is reactive to the signal coming out of the radio. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> it's no big deal. I just thought it was funny. But it does look like it only happens when it's plugged-in charging. It does not seem to happen when it's not plugged-in charging. That's a good thing. So you don't have to worry about an errant radio signal setting this thing off. <laughs> but good job. It's a simple purpose-driven device with a little extra with a USB-C input and USB output, which is just a, a real nice-to-have feature. Um, I love it. it. It's a great light. It produces a, a big uh, light area and a super tight spot on the wall there. Let me show you. So there's the, whoop, 
super tight spot that it creates on the wall. So that's your high, that's your low. Not bad. Good job. Decent throw. I mean, it's not going to have the throw of a you know, $200 flashlight. It's not supposed to. But it has pretty decent throw for the price and a nice set of features and a super compact form factor. Good job.